so many times during the week I will be so exhausted that I will think I'm not doing my skincare tonight and then I'll get up and I'll be oh my gosh I have to take this makeup off because I know as a beauty content creator and being into skincare for these past eight years that I've been on YouTube how very important it is to not sleep in your makeup but boy there are nights that I'm so tired I don't want to do the whole rigmarole so here today in this video I am bringing you a very pared down routine that I hope does help you but these are so highly effective that as I was going through all of my health issues for the past six months many many of you have told me that my skin looks better than ever and actually I attribute it to paring down my skincare routine so I'm going to go through what I do at night for my skincare there's about five steps and I know that might seem like a lot but compared to the 10 to 15 steps that I was doing before it's really not but before we get into that I always like to talk about what I have on for a shirt because every single time I'm on YouTube I get asked about what I have on my jewelry my fingernails my makeup my clothing all of that so I'm going to leave all of that listed and linked down below here's a picture of me in this absolutely beautiful shirt very lightweight for summer I love the heathered look on it I love the lace detailing on it this is totally feminine but it's totally casual at the same time pair it with jeans or with a skirt whatever you want to do it would just look so cute no matter what you're doing and I'll make sure that I leave all of that information with the links down in the description box so that you can look at that okay starting out with removing our makeup at night and I did decide for this not to be a demonstration video because I feel more comfortable with my makeup on as I'm talking to you but I will show you what I do when I take my makeup off and I've been taking my makeup off with this cleanser and the cleanser is called the fig cleansing balm this is the best cleansing balm i've used it has a baby lotion fragrance to it a kind of almost a slight rosy fragrance to it so if you're adverse to fragrance you might want to stay away from this but so it does have that little bit of fragrance but what i do like about this that's different than all the other cleansing balms and why i want to recommend this is because this melts away so quickly as i'm using it so yes i think it's coconut based and it is oil based. I hopefully you can see how that's shiny right there. So it is oil based. But what happens is I'll get a cloth and I'll take off my makeup. But because I feel like there is another ingredient in here, this will wash away and it won't leave your skin super oily. Now I do do a do do. I do a double cleanse. However, if you're somebody that still feels greasy after you use your second cleanser and your double cleanse, then this is for you because I never ever feel that way. I have in the past with different oils I've used for, for taking off makeup and different balms, but I never feel that way about this. I love this. It's a really good one and I will continue to repurchase it all the time. Now, you did see me hold up a cloth and I brought these in here because I wanted to show you my microfiber cleansing cloths. They are a, I think it's about, I think it's a 12 by six. These are, might be more like five by nine or five by 11. I don't know what size they are, but I'll tell you why I love these so much more than any other cleansing cloth I've ever had in the past. The other ones that I had fell apart in the washer after about a year. It seemed like the cloth was really wasted away and this one is fluffy and it's super duper soft and I never feel like that I always feel like my makeup is completely taken off but I can throw these in the washer they never come out stained like the other cloths that I've used they come out looking like they're brand new I do have a little bit of makeup on this one but they come out looking like they're brand new here's one that it isn't got any makeup on it at all because I haven't used it today but I think that these ones are so much better than the other ones that I've ever shown or ever used and so now I have a whole closet full of these and these are fantastic and you will not have any of your makeup on I hear women say all the time that they can't get all of their eye makeup off I never have that problem with this and then I have to do a second cleanse on my skin after I use a cleansing balm if you don't do a second cleanse what's going to happen is any oil in your cleansing balm is going to leave a residual on your face and then any serums that you use afterwards are not going to penetrate through that oil they just can't so doing a second cleanse then you're taking off all the oil and any residuals that might be left behind from your makeup i have never before felt like it was important to choose the kind of cleanser you used after using this one from la roche posay this one is for normal to dry skin it is hydrating gentle cleanser this is amazing it this says dermatologist tested safe for sensitive skin 
this is so gentle on my very sensitive skin and I would recommend this to just about anybody even if you have normal to oily maybe not if you have oily because it is a little bit hydrating so you do feel like your face is really nice and hydrated afterwards but I don't feel sticky. I don't feel tacky. I don't feel anything like that I just feel clean and soft and I have completely fallen in love with this And like I said, I would just grab whatever there was in my stash I get sent a lot of different cleansers But when I finally found this one, it was like oh full stop This is going to be my cleanser for life This is a big big huge jar and it's not terribly expensive But boy this one does everything I need it to takes off the residuals It doesn't leave me dry and feeling like i'm cracking. This is a really good cleanser at this point I want to tell you that you can choose two options at night You can either choose to exfoliate your skin or you can choose to treat your skin and women of our age we have to do both and so I would tell you that you're going to need to alternate this and the reason is is because Alternating between exfoliating your face and treating your face is going to give your face a rest You don't want to exfoliate your face every single day Especially if you have sensitive dry skin It's going to make your skin even more irritated and you're going to find that you're all of a sudden So irritated that you can't wear your makeup or it's flaking really bad because your skin is sloughing super fast and you want to be careful about all of those now for an exfoliation I would highly recommend this one from dermalec This one I found out about from my good friend sherry from graceful beauty If you haven't watched sherry, you need to go watch her This is called the self-esteem beauty sleep serum This has three different kinds of acids in it and it has glycolic salicylic and l ascorbic acids the glycolic is really good for softening your skin if you're somebody that is older and you have really leathery looking skin You have texture on your face Wonderful glycolic acid is your best friend Salicylic is going to help you slough and so is the l ascorbic acid They're going to all just do wonders for your skin. You're going to love it now Here is my caveat about all of this though I only use this once a week because I do have very dry sensitive skin The other thing is is if you have super sensitive skin You might want to use this as a mask instead of using it as a leave-on and then you know going through the regular your other parts of your skincare routine because this tingles it has that feeling of you know you just have that tingling prickly feeling and so when i was first starting using this i had to take it off after about 10 15 minutes because i felt like it was overdoing it and sure enough the next day it was a little bit more but in the morning you will noticeably see softer skin i was shocked at how beautiful and soft feeling my skin was because you're sloughing off everything dead and old and you need to do this If you are using retinol products or retin-a you need to be exfoliating your skin It is so very important You have to do that so that the pretty new skin that is being made by the collagen that you're using the retin-a for that is what needs to show through. You have to be doing something like this. And this is a fantastic one. You can use others. I really like the ordinary has a glycolic acid. If you're somebody that doesn't need the sloughing and you don't have large pores or anything, you might just want to use something like that glycolic acid. That is one of my very favorites. And I've talked about it so many times. But the other side of that is treatment, right? Instead of exfoliating on the other nights, you're going to use the treatment. So one night a week, I use this. If you don't have sensitive skin, try two. I probably wouldn't exfoliate my skin more than two or three times a week. You can do that at different times if you want to, but this is what I do. So now I'm talking about treatments and I have absolutely fallen in love with copper peptides in this last six months as well. And they've become all the rage because this is something that I might get a little bit of guff about, but here's the theory, stick with me. And I saw a video on this very recently from two dermatologists. And what it is is that copper peptides act differently than normal peptides in how deep they go through our skin and how much cellular turnover they cause in our skin. People that really can't use retinols or retinase are turning to two things, copper peptides and bakucha, bakucha oil. I always say that wrong. Bakucha oil. Bakucha, bakucha oil. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Anyway. I don't use that one, but I do use copper peptides and I have two here that are my absolute favorites From bioessence the squalene copper peptide rapid plumping serum. This is fabulous now Whereas with retin-a it takes months and months to notice a difference copper peptides I feel like 
in the past three to six months have completely changed the game for me. It's just been absolutely awesome what I'm seeing in my skin. And this one is the one that I started off with, but I find that, you know, it's a little bit expensive. And even though I absolutely love it and I continue to repurchase it over and over again, this one that I found from COSRX, which is the six peptide skin booster. This has copper peptides in it, but it has five other peptides in it, which helps us so much. And this one is super absorbent, just like the Biosense is. And I love it. I love both of these so much. So what I actually do is I alternate these because I still want to use the Biosense and I still want to save a little bit of money. That's the cheap side of me that, that's coming out. But I love both of them. You absolutely do not have to buy both. Just know that the one from COSRX is a little bit less expensive. And I do feel like the one from Biosense is a little bit more effective. Really helping to see noticeable changes in the plumping of my skin and also the wrinkles and the brightening of my skin. So this is just awesome. Now I will get a lot of questions about, can you use copper peptides with retinol? And the answer is absolutely yes. But what you do need to do is let this dry down. So cleansing and then using a copper peptide, letting it completely sit and dry down and then go in with your retinol. And I brought two because I have been using both of these and been really absolutely amazed at how much my skin loves these. And even though I can't use the prescription ret prescription retin-A like most of you can, I can use these and see a huge difference in my skin still. From Naturium is the retinaldehyde cream in 0.1%. I love this stuff. I've used several tubes of it. This is like my fifth or sixth tube of it. This is a, a gel-like formula. It's a micro-delivered retinol and it is lovely. It just sinks into your skin like a dream and it really comes out kind of watery and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's lovely, lovely. I've talked about this a million times on my channel and I still want to recommend for an affordable option, a highly effective option. This is so good. But I also want to tell you that I've been using the Murad Resurgent. This is retinol resculpt overnight treatment. This has three different kinds of retinol in it, and I think that's fantastic. I also have noticed a huge difference in how my skin is reacting and how bright and plumped up my wrinkles are. The surface of my skin feels smoother. I just have noticed so many changes when I started to use this, but you will notice changes with this one as well. But the Murad, I am really impressed by. I'm shocked by how impressed I am buy it actually. And they're both different. The Murad's a little bit more heavy than the Naturium is, but I still love it. And they both sink in really well. The Murad's going to give you a little bit more, more moisturizing in there. It's not gel-like. It's a little bit, like I said, a little bit heavier. You're almost going to feel like you're putting a very light moisturizer on your skin. But boy, I've been really loving this and using both of them. I can say that both of them are really good retinols and they're both going to be great added to your routine. Lastly, I want to talk about moisture. At night, I have to have a super heavy moisture because number one, I have very dry menopausal skin. And number two, I live in a very arid desert like climate. There's hardly any humidity here. And in the winter time, when the hot air comes on in the houses or the forced air comes on in the houses, it gets even drier. And so it's really very difficult. And so what I've used for years and years, I reorder a bottle of this about every two months. And for the past probably six years, I've probably done that every two months for that long. From Suko Yakasu Hata, this is their Urea Moisture Cream. This is a very thick cream though. So pause and let me tell you that when you get this, you're going to feel like this is heavy and sticky. If you're somebody that doesn't need that, if you're somebody that needs something that's a little lighter, I would suggest to you that you use Hata Labo. This is a really good one. It does still have some urea in it, but it's not as heavy as this one. This is a balm-like texture. You don't need the hair in the shot, but this is a balm-like texture. It's a very thick cream. You can't shake that sucker out. It is so hydrating. I put this on my eyes in a thick coat all the way around my eyes. And boy, in the morning, I have this and my skin is so soft. I mean, I use it everywhere else, but I don't use it thick all over because it's sticky. Melissa is telling you that it's sticky. So don't order this and then get it home. And then it's like, oh my gosh, I can't use it. It's too sticky. I'm telling you, it's sticky. You will feel the stickiness to your face, to your neck. It is that hydrating. It's the only thing, I mean, I try it all. I get sent a ton of skincare. And I always come back to this at night because in the morning, I'm gonna still have a plumped up area around my eyes. I'm not gonna see the lines and the wrinkles and the yuckiness because everything's plumped up from this. So it's so, so good. I brought over here three other products. These are additives that if you're talking about a more extended 
skincare routine at night, this is what I would use. And I've talked about this a million times. Dermatology HPR Eye Cream. For the first time in my life, and I've said this a million times, the skin on my eyelids has changed. It's become smoother. This is doing it, and I love it. And I know there might be women out there that use something else, but for some reason, this has made an absolute 180 on my eyes. So I have smoother eyelids than I've ever had. I take this and I put it all around, completely out here on the orbital bone too. I've noticed a diminishing in the fine lines and wrinkles and crow's feet, but mostly it's my eyelids that have made a huge change. The other thing I wanna tell you, and this is really weird, I don't know why, but I had a tendency not to get my skincare in that corner right there. I guess because I was afraid of getting it in my eye. But when you use an eye cream, use it clear down in that corner. Close your eye and, you know, really get it down there. Because I was noticing how gross that looked. It was getting so wrinkled in there and all of a sudden it hit me. I don't know if I put my cream all the way over as I was doing my skincare one night. Sure enough, as I started to do this, extreme changes. I don't know what they have in this little bottle. It is a retinol product too, but I love that. Also, you've heard me talk about this a million times, Benton Fermentation Essence. The fermentation process in here is Galactomyces and Bifida. What you will notice about this, if you use it in any long term, is the lightening or the brightening of your face, your dark spots, and it will soften your wrinkles, but more than anything for me, it was my dark spots. This is a must for me in my extended skincare routine. And then the last one is a new eyelash serum, serum that I use from Babe Lash. And this is because my other one that I used for years and years, the X Lash that I used, they no longer carry it where I can get it in the States more readily and it's super expensive now. So going to this one, I had this recommended by one of you. Thank you so much for that recommendation. Told you I listened to you guys and you guys influenced me, but I started using this and wow, it is every bit as effective. And she was right when she said to me, sometimes X Lash will sting a little bit and it does sometimes on me, but this never does. And I still noticed in a few weeks, all of my lashes looking so much longer, thicker, fuller. The health of my lashes is just fantastic. And I was having a little bit of time in there after about six to eight weeks where I would notice that the X lash wasn't performing as well as it used to. I haven't noticed anything like that. So thank you so much for your recommendation in this. And now I'm turning around and I'm recommending it to you. If you have problems with your lashes, I think that you will love this eyelash serum. Nice growth, beautiful length, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, that is the end of it. If you're not yet subscribed to me, please make sure you do because about 60% of you are not subscribed to me. Please do, it would help me out so much. If you'd like to also, please share some of your routine down below, something that is highly effective for you, what kind of changes it's made. Like I said, you guys influence me and I love to try things that you guys have recommended as much as you like to try my recommendations. So please take care of yourself, stay happy, stay healthy, and make sure you come around and see me once again in my next video. Love you much, bye-bye.